yeah we're gonna have to deal with this hey friends welcome back to my channel oh my gosh you're welcome if you are new i am so sorry if this is the first time ever that you are seeing me like this i promise by the end of this video we're gonna be all together i'm so excited for today because we're gonna be digging into a bunch of new things so first and foremost i'm gonna be doing a blowout today but instead of using my regular Dyson hair dryer, I am going to be trying out the Rev Air. If you haven't heard of it, it's this special tool that is supposed to cut drying time in half. It's supposed to be a lot easier, quicker, and also more effective. So I am very, very excited to give that a try. First, of course, though, like I gotta wash my hair and prep it. So for wash day today, I am also digging into some new products that I've never used before. We're gonna be concentrating on scalp as well as heat protection and just added moisture for my hair today in order to prep my hair for the blowouts and then the protective style that I'm about to get. So let's just go ahead and get started. It feels a little bit like an experiment and I'm ready. All right, so. My hair is in a state right now. I will say I feel like my hair has not been lasting as long my washes lately I don't know if it's to do with the color. I don't know if it's to do with the length I don't know if it's to do with summer um, Or maybe just a combination of all three, you know, so yeah, it's in a little bit of a state today But like I said, we gonna fix it right up. One thing I have been loving to do on my wash days nowadays is to actually wet my hair and fully detangle it first I like to use something very lightweight, so just either a regular conditioner or even like a leave-in conditioner that's really nice and juicy to just fully detangle. I feel like this way I get not only just like a nice surge of moisture to start off my wash day, but also I get a much deeper cleanse when I shampoo later on just because all the tangles are gone and the shampoo and every other product that I use in my wash day is gonna be able to be better absorbed because we don't, like we're not like full of tangles and everything, you know what I mean? So this has been, a major key for me. The conditioner I've been loving for this is this one here by Heritage. This is their Color Check Color Care Conditioner. It is free of sulfates, flotates, parabens, silicones, gluten, mineral oil. It's color safe, cruelty free, and also vegan. It is whew, so good and also it just smells really good. So the main two things I love about it, it's lightweight, still deeply moisturizing, the slip is bomb, and also it's really great for my colored hair. So I'm just gonna start by wetting my entire head of hair in my tub. All right, here we go. So fully wet, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'll have to back up for y'all to see all of it. <laughs> when I say that this is a lot, it's a lot. This is a lot of hair, y'all. You guys have seen that I started using brushes for styling my hair, but when it comes to detangling, I still kind of prefer to just use my fingers. I don't know why. Honestly, I don't have an actual straight up reason like, oh, it's healthier for your hair. No, like I, it's just, it's literally just straight up my preference. I'm just focusing this on at the ends of my hair. I'm trying not to get too much on my scalp because I am gonna do a really cool scalp treatment that I'm very excited about. So yeah, this step is really just focused mostly on my ends. Random thought, you guys, I, I'm ready for a hair switch up. I know I'm about to get a protective style and everything and that's gonna be fine and dandy. Very excited, it's, it's, a switch up that I need, but another switch up is also gonna happen. I'm gonna just say that. I'm gonna just say that because I don't know, I'm itching to do something else with my hair. So stay tuned for that. All right, here we are, fully detangled. That was nice and quick and easy. Boom. Oh my gosh, I still can't get over my length. This is wild. Ah! I was also able to get rid of some shedding. Let me tell you, also very, this is why it's such a major key to do this because when you're shampooing your hair with all of that like shedded hair that's still inside your hair, the shedded hair gets knotted up inside the hair that's still connected to your scalp and then it adds more knots and tangles and breakage and all that stuff. So this is just, oh, I just, I can't even, this is like a very essential first step to my wash day now. Going forward for all this hair, much needed. Okay, so now it's time to move on to Scalp. This is a new brand, well, new to me. I've never used them before, so it's called Depth Perception of Hair. Love the name. This is their Nourishing Cream Scalp Exfoliator. So I'm gonna give you guys a real close-up. Do you see this? This is Au Natural. 
okay? You can like, you can just tell. Let me tell you what kind of ingredients they got in here, okay? So they have a combination of lemongrass, which is really great for cleansing your scalp. It's like a natural astringent for your scalp. There's also green tea, which is great for kind of just like stimulating your scalp. And also aloe. Aloe, we all know, has a really nice moisturizing and soothing component as well. And then they also have a bunch of other great ingredients such as zinc, vitamin C, citric acid, kind of just everything you need for your scalp in order to clean it, nourish it, and just keep it nice and happy and balanced because a balanced scalp is everything. Woo! I love the smell. It smells like straight up lemongrass. If you are into like essential oils and everything, it smells literally exactly like a lemongrass essential oil. Mm, so good. I live for lemongrass, honestly. Lemongrass soup, lemongrass hair products. I'm here for it. Let's just rub it and get into this texture. Ooh, you can actually feel like the little micro beads in there, it, it's gonna have some really nice exfoliating for the scalp. Wow, this is about to be amazing. Let's dig in. By the way, I feel like I forgot to mention, these are our sponsors for today's video. Yeah, let's get this party started. So I'm just gonna start by sectioning my hair because I wanna make sure that this is gonna get through to every bit of my scalp. And then I'm just gonna use the nozzle to apply this directly to my scalp. Doing like a final scrub through my hair to make sure that the product has kind of hidden my entire scalp. Ooh, yeah, so so far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in for about three minutes and then I'll meet you guys over in the shower for us to proceed with this wash. My scalp feels so good. It's, it's a different feeling from the regular like peppermint scalp products that I've used before. It's different. It feels like it got like a really nice deep cleanse, but it doesn't feel dry either. It just feels soothed and balanced. All Like literally everything that it said it was gonna do is literally what I feel on my scalp right now. I also absolutely love the fact that it is natural. Y'all know how I feel about more natural, more clean ingredients, non-toxic. It's also cruelty free, which we absolutely Stand for if you're interested in taking a little bit better care of your scalp I do have a coupon code in case you do want to give it a try 20% off if you use my code Alyssa check it out and thank me later so the last two steps of this wash day here is gonna be shampoo and deep conditioner I'm very excited to dig into these by Uncle Funky's daughter I haven't really played around with too many of their products I used their curl magic or curl stimulator or something like that like way back when my hair was still short I liked it, but they did send me their maximum thermal protection Collection so of course starting off with their purifying cleanser. I love the fact that it's purifying It's gonna give us a really nice deep cleanse all their products from this collection It says they are infused with silk bamboo and quinoa to prevent heat damage So from here we're already starting the prevention of heat damage. Let's go So if you're not new here, you will know one of my new things is shampooing in sections I'm not just shampooing in sections just because we did like a scalp thing today I mean that's definitely gonna help to rinse out out whatever excess treatment is still in here but I actually do this every single wash now and I like to comb my shampoo through oh and this one is like really nice this shampoo feels really nice right now I actually love the smell okay the smell in your hair it just smells like hardcore hair products I don't know how to describe it I'm literally the worst at describing fragrance I'm so bad everything is either sweet or not sweet <laughs> But I don't know, it just smells like, it smells like the type of hair products at a professional hair salon, you know? Wait, so my hair feels really soft. <laughs> oh my gosh, it literally feels so soft. Okay, my hair feels delicious, feels super clean, and also my scalp again just feels 
phenomenal. Let's go ahead and dig into this deep conditioner. I've actually never seen a deep conditioner in a bottle like this. It's like in a regular conditioner bottle, but it's a deep conditioner. Let's get into the consistency real quick. Okay, so not super thick, but still very deeply moisturizing. Wow, this feels really nice. This feels really, I feel like I can feel the silk. Like, wh what is liquid silk or whatever kind of silk they have in here? It literally feels silky. I didn't even know that liquid silk was a thing that you could put in your hair, but it's, it's delicious. All right, so this is feeling really nice in my hair. I will say it's not the most moisturizing feeling deep conditioner that I've ever used, but, um, and also like a little bit does not go a long way. So I feel like I had to use quite a bit in this section here. Once it is fully like combed in and like fully saturated, it feels good. It feels like, you know, nice and juicy in the curls and stuff, but I did have to use a lot of product to get here. And then grabbing my shower cap. Boom, chicka wow wow. That's it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit for five minutes, finish up in here in the shower, and then I'll meet you guys back in the studio for the fun part. All right, so it's time. I'm very excited. My hair has just been drying in this microfiber thingy thingy. So it's still pretty damp. Um, not 100% dry, but not like dripping, soaking wet either. Overall, my hair and scalp are both feeling absolutely amazing. That was an amazing wash, and I'm very, very excited to now get into this blowout. So, let's talk about the Rev Air. The Rev Air is basically a reverse air dryer. So, you know how regular blow dryers blow air out? It actually sucks your hair into this thing to stretch it and dry it at the same time, which I'm really excited for. So let me show you what the whole <laughs> device looks like. It's like a whole contraption here. Um, so this is it. This is the bottom half of it. It has a plug for you to plug it into the wall. And then this is the other end. Like I said, your hair goes in here, it sucks it, and then you end up with super slick, nice, dry, blown out hair. All right, so I actually have to read instructions. I usually hate instructions, but there's a lot of things going on here. So first on this part, there is this little on off thingy, but it's it's not an on off thingy. It has two dashes on one side and one dash on the other side. So let's see what that means. Okay, so that is actually the temperature control. So low heat is one dash, high heat is two dashes. So on the little contraption thing at the bottom, there's a dial and it goes from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so it's saying to start by using level two or lower, and then I can increase the speed level until I find my ideal tension. Okay, so the dial at the bottom is also to do with speed slash tension. And then this is, this right here is to do with heat. Gosh, I'm very excited. Okay, so we are gonna start, where is my hair tie? By the way, random thing, I have been absolutely loving these. See, this is gonna be my struggle, knowing how big the section should be. I don't know how to measure three by three. This seems, this seems okay though, right? Is it too big, is it too thick? I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, it's gonna just be a trial and error process. Apparently it will shut off if the section is too big. So let's just try this section because I'm not trying to be here all day. So the only product that I'm gonna use for added thermal protection is also part of the Uncle Funky's Daughter collection that I have been using. So this is the primer and it's just a spray. Also infused with the same silk, bamboo, and quinoa to prevent heat damage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of saturate this section. I'm a little nervous, but here we go. So I gotta set the dial to two. Oh, okay. <gasps> okay, okay, so my hair doesn't really, it feels warm. It doesn't feel like hot to the touch. So I kind of like that. It doesn't feel like it's being fried in there. Um, I'm also liking the fact that like, you know, the blow dryer, you gotta have the blow dryer and the brush and like be doing all that. 
Um, I like that I don't have to be doing all that. I just literally zoop. It's very nice. It feels, feels really easy to get this done. Um, it's not 100% like straight, but I want to say it might be a little bit straighter than I would be able to get with a regular blow dryer. So the fact that we're able to get this, I mean this for low heat is pretty good, I would say. Because it's pretty, it's, it's pretty stretched. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the shrinkage. This always cracks me up. Like, <laughs> stretched, shrunk. And this is shrunk with no products, y'all. So I think instead of like playing around with heat, I'm still gonna keep it on the low heat, but maybe we can try for the next section upping the tension. All right, so I am gonna try Let's just do one stage at a time. I don't want to go crazy and go up to six and then next thing you know, it breaks my hair off. <laughs> we are not trying to do that today. So um, I have just bumped it up to three. Let's see how that makes a difference. Okay. So three felt actually really similar to two. I guess it's only one bump up, but I'm not seeing as much wave as I saw in like the other section. Okay, we're officially at the halfway point. <gasps> I love it. Okay, so um, I'm quickly just gonna go ahead and apply a split end serum. Another product as part of the Uncle Funky's Daughter Maximum Thermal Protection Collection. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit of it in my hands. Oh, it's just like a nice cream. And I'm just gonna apply this to my ends to make sure that they're nice and protected and they stay all good. I don't know if I truly believe in something to protect fully against split ends, but I just thought it'd be nice to like at least moisturize them. If anything, just keep them nice and moisturized and happy. Like I'm definitely way past where I was before, like with my relaxed hair, we, we've passed. We've passed all that. Okay, so final thoughts on the Rev Air. I love the fact that I feel like it was minimum effort to get this blowout. Um, I don't think it necessarily works better than my Dyson. I'm sure if I upped the heat on this thing, I could have gotten smoother, um, like more straightened results, but I did want to err on the side of caution, especially because I do have colored hair. My hair is a little bit more susceptible to damage, so I figured it really wasn't worth all of that. Um, so all in all, I liked it. My arms aren't like super tired because it was just like very effortless, just holding it up like that instead of having to do the whole thing. So I really liked that. Um, I feel like because of that, I would probably reach for this more often when I do need to do a blowout for a protective style just because anything that is like easy, I'm gonna do. If there's an easier way or a more effective way of doing something, I'm gonna do it. And so that's where I feel like this comes into play for me. It is pretty pricey. I wanna say it's in that $400 range, same as the Dyson. Um, so I would say if you're not somebody who blow dries your hair very often, it's probably not, not something that's actually necessary for you to have, especially if you have a Dyson, probably not necessary. Um, but if you are somebody who does this quite often, then I could definitely see the benefit in just this being like a lot easier, basically, for you to use. But yes, we are ready. My hair feels good. My scalp feels good. Look at all this hair. I know a lot of people on Instagram are like, flat iron it, but I'm still too scared to do the flat iron. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted, but I'm, I'm too scared to actually follow through with flat ironing my hair because it's just, it's not gonna be worth it if it damages it, you know what I mean? So this is the most, 
straight I'll get for now and it's still fun it's still a vibe and I'm liking it <laughs> super special thank you to our sponsors of the video once again depth perception of hair don't forget to use your discount code Alyssa for 20% off if you are interested in getting that scalp exfoliator which I think you should because my scalp is feeling literally like heaven on earth as a matter of fact everything I've mentioned in this video is all linked below as usual so i hope you guys enjoyed this i will catch you in the next one make sure you stick around to see which protective style we're doing okay because it's not gonna be raised this is as much as i'm gonna tell you i'll catch y'all in the next one bye